Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Welcome to Stoy Geeks, episode 317. I am your host, Joe Hosempo. Welcome back to our, this is the stick of the week section. And the stick that Drew and I are going to talk about this week, it is featuring here on the Stoy Geeks show. It is the Placencia Elma Del Campo. And I am enjoying this stick right now as we speak. Uh, Placencia had sent us some, and I've been doing some uh, taste testing Drew, and I uh, certainly am much satisfied with what I am smoking so far. But anyway, the Placencia, what do you think, Drew? Yeah, just very, very nice and mild. I mean, uh, su- uh, smooth. It's, uh, you know, leaves a little uh, heavy lasting uh, finish on, on the palate for sure. Oh, yeah. the One, one of the things, that, like, from a first characteristics of this here is you kind of get... It, it starts off, for, for me, it's a little bit complex, right? Like, you're like, whoa, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. immediately, that smoke, it really lingers on the palate. And it's almost like, I guess if you were to talk about uh, smoke from, from that perspective there, it's like, an up, it's like an upgrade, and it just lingers on the palate. And even when you're done, it, it's really the uh, tasting components are uh, still there for sure. Uh, it does leave a lasting impression, uh, absolutely. Uh, in regards to the notes, uh, I'm getting uh, a little bit of nuts uh, and some coffee. I have had this cigar with my morning coffee, and I definitely recommend this cigar. The exact size that I am smoking right now is the Toro Extra. That is a 6.5 by 54. It is also available in four other sizes. It, uh, the Placencia MO del campo is available in a robusto 5x52 it's available in a toro gordo 6x56 a gordo 6.5x58 and and a robusto gordo 5.5x54 i have had every size except for the 6.5x58 that's that's um you know that's just uh i'll I have them in in the humidor. They'll probably sit and age a uh, bit. Comparing it to the other stick of the week that we have done uh, with Placencia, the Coseca or the Cosecha uh, 146, um, that to me was a little bit spicier um, there. But um, certainly this stick does not disappoint as well. Your wrapper binder filler is all Nicaraguan, and I th- believe that this is a stick that you uh, will enjoy. Um, so if you're at, at your local brick-and-mortar, or if you get your cigars online, definitely seek them out. If you are looking for a retailer near you, all you have to do is go to storygeeks.com and click on that Placencia banner, throw in your zip code, and away you go. You can find a retailer near you. If they're not near you, call them. Maybe the retailer will, will ship them to you. That would be there you go. A good gift, uh, adding on to our other segment uh, in regards to gifts that we started off with today's show. Mm. So Alma Del Campo is Spanish for soul of the field. Mm-hmm. For those of you who are needing a little Spanish uh, tutelage. There you go. And the cosecha was Spanish for harvest. And it's the 146th harvest of that time of what they use uh, for that tobacco. Yes. Why? This is it's not a lot of uh boardroom discussion of of how we come up with the name. Yeah. So did you get uh, have you tasted the have you got to uh when you first uh lit that uh stick did you uh get any creaminess out of it any 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 smoothness out of it? Well, when uh, I, when I when I first I, that's a good question. Uh I uh did a cat eye Colibri mm-hmm. Deep V, right? Mm-hmm. Which is what I do on a majority of my stuff. Uh I'm a I'm a V cut or a bullet, but um, yeah. you know, um, and it, when you first light it up, you're like, "Well, okay, it's got." It, you really taste that spice like right away, and then yeah. you know how it gets started. Like it's it's not it's not even an inch. It's that it's it's going. It starts to yeah. go. It's just super. It just that really spicy complexness yeah. subsides. Not too much, but it does subside. 
But all throughout the stick, uh, I'm assuming that th- this stick is going to go the same way. It's just, yeah. it's just tasty like the same way through. So you get that initial spice, that yeah. complexity that they talk about on their website, that complex of spice. But as yeah. you get going, um, once you're past that, that first inch or so, um, yeah. not even the first half, it just kind of fades. Um, yeah. And then you get the uh, nut, a little bit of nut. And some coffee notes, coffee yeah. for days. I think, right? Um, yeah, I yeah. Get it. Um, yeah. I'm, my my yeah. takeaway from this is, yeah. if this makes sense, on the retro hail, you still yeah. get the you still get the nut and the coffee, but yeah. you take away the earth. Yes. Does that make sense? You know the you know the dryness. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The dryness on your palate uh, fades in in. I, I guess the opposite of dry would be wet, and so it's kind of like lingered. The, the the taste of the smoke on your palate will linger after you're done, for sure. Yeah, there's a word in there that you use. Uh, Not a cigar you heard... want to take on a date, cause you, <laughs> unless you have breath mints. There you go. <laughs> What do you? What did you? Uh, what's that you use in in the? New, I can't say that word. Umami. You get a lot of umami. Yes. There you go. Yes. You know that is a word. I'm. If I ever have the privilege of knowing my when my last Stogie Geeks episode is, mm. umami is gonna come up. <laughs> because yes, there. You know, we talk about different things, nuts and flavor and espresso and this and that, and I get it. And, and, and it's and it's adjectives, right? To right. discuss that and and what cigar podcast guests are doing or writers who write in yeah. publications is they're trying to elaborate that right but yeah. there's only uh, tobacco this university tells you that the, there's only like five things you can taste from cigars and this is a, this is a good debate by the way that you bring this up right R- it's either right? saltiness sweetness uh sour uh and one of them is umami and i'm missing the fifth right i gotta it's it's been a while since I've done that cur- curriculum, right? But it's like right. you know, other than that, it just becomes an adjective. But yeah, it gives you that. Oh, there you go. What, what, what's the other one I'm missing? No, no, no. This this is not from. This is just a cheat my, sheet. What is that? My, no, this is my NFL. You know, like a, you know how the coaches have to play on the sidelines. Oh, come they, on, Drew. You do yeah, not have this one is for mine. Cigars. Oh yeah, this is all for cigars. This is all. What the hell is that? It's a cigar guide. I mean it. it I mean it's got full of different. <laughs> Front, back. My wife laughs at me when I'm out in the cigar and I'm smoking, and I'm like, <laughs> "Wait, wait, 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 wait! Elaborate on that guide. What is that?" So it's a uh, it's a glossary of terms, uh, uh, how to enjoy your cigar, cigar types, uh, building the cigar, and mm. then uh, and then the colors, you know, so that you can get more geekish about it. Uh, that's just you know, that's just me. Uh, and then find vintage cigars. And then popular cigar brands by flavor and size. So, and, but but then it also goes into a lot of like drinks and compliments, cutting your cigar, lighting your cigar, sh- uh, shapes and sizes, uh, cigar tobacco growing regions. So, where did you get yeah, that? Oh, I found this. I I'll, I can't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. This, this came this came from South America. And this came from a from somebody. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll share it with you, and then we'll decide if we need to scan it. This is like this is like uh, how do you say double seven stuff for us geeks, Stogie geeks. All right, all right, all right. Not, now, now, not not all right, all right. You just it's added you just added seven more minutes to this interview. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> to, to to this segment. Give me two glossary terms. Two glossary. Oh, Johnny terms. said six minutes. <laughs> okay. Give me two just, just randomly. That has nothing oh. to do with just giving to me. Okay, uh, Lance. Center uh L A N C E Yes. Oh. Cutter used cutter used to pierce small hole in the closed end of a cigar. It's also called a piercer. So that's Lance. Uh, that's what's on there. Uh bouquet. Uh the smell of rose or yeah. of a cigar and properly stored cigars lose their bouquet. So uh improperly. Yeah, I got you. Yep. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, okay. okay. Yeah, that's what it says. Bouquet, the smell of the smell or none nose of the cigar improperly stored cigars that lose their bouquet. Okay, so, can I have to get the camera to go on me? Sure. Uh, this is the bouquet. 
yeah. of the Placencia Elma del Campo is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I did That's... not use a lance to no, pierce not. the end. The lance. That's like a Monty Python term. Can you please? Uh, dude, I'm, so, I'm going to a cigar shop after work today, right? And I'm going to say, can you pass me a lance? And, and, yeah. and I'm going to report back to you and, 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 and tell them that Drew's South American Glossary told me to use the lance today. And so they have one here. Flag, flag leaves. Wait, wait. What? What? Flag leaves? Flag leaves. Yep, yes. Yep, yep. And that right there says an, an extension of the wrapper leaf shaped to finish the head of a cigar used instead of a cap. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of information on this. I'll, nice. I'll, I'll definitely send you a copy of this. But, yeah, it had it lam- on phonics. Had it laminated. With Drew. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is that is awesome that you pulled that out. Oh, my God. I, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I am told by the person who sent it to me that I'm only the sixth one in the world that has it. So 007 stuff. Nice. I'm is the autograph brother. signed? No, 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 no. They don't want. Uh, they said that they could get hurt if they found out it landed in the media hands or something like that. No kidding. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's true. I, I, you know, pretty cool. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what gets me is like the fine vintage cigars he has on here. So let me just read uh, off a couple uh, of those. Yeah, let's do it. So he has a uh, uh, a Flor de Fra Palomar, Palomaris. 1958. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Ramon Alianas. I've heard Ramon Alones. Alones Ideals. Yeah. Uh, 1958. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had that. Yep. Uh, a Henry Clay Coronas. 1958. Probably not the year, but obviously, yep. Yep. And then a uh, Romeo and Juliet. Juliet, a number 758. Uh, Alfred Dunhill Limited. Selección Suprema. Cedro Deluxe 1959. Mm. So, so he's got like uh, 10 of them here listed mm-hmm. that I'm supposed to go out and find and let him know where I found him. Did he give you spending money for that? Because that Selection 1959 is probably going to be, you know, if oh, it yeah. was here in Rhode Island, there's a certain there's a certain retail shop that has a vintage collection, private collection. And they only open up the humidor twice a month. And and then yeah. so he glass cases it and he taunts his customers. So you stare oh, yeah. at that stuff because you stare at like the, the there's a David off in there. It's like five hundred bucks. Blah blah blah. It's like all this stuff and you know yeah. what I mean? like you know and and I'm just like all right cool uh you know but um where was I today? No, it wasn't today. I was this week and someone says, "Have you ever been to the David off lounge in Vegas?" And I says, "Yeah." And they says, "I wasn't talking to you about this, right?" And they opened up a back room. No, no. Cause no, no, no. I didn't, I didn't talk to you for story geek. So, um, uh, I got to think about where I was. And they said, yeah, have you ever been to David Office in Vegas? I said, yeah. They're like, did you ever walk uh. in the humidor? I said, yeah. They go, do you know there's a back room in the humidor? I says, no, there, I did not. I knew there was mm. one at Casa Fuente because obviously yeah. Paul told the story when, when, when he came out over, over here uh, after yeah. our trip. But I was like, no. He's like, yeah. He goes, I went down there and I met somebody. Oh, I know where I was. And, it, and he ended up meeting... It was a Davidoff private party, right? Yeah. At the Davidoff Lounge. It was the launch of the Davidoff Lounge in Vegas. And the CEO of Davidoff came in, and there's a back room in there, if you mm. know the password. And I got the password. Nice. So when we go to Black Hat this year, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the password. And I told him, I says, I'm call, give me your cell phone number because if this doesn't work, I'm going to be I'm going to call you on Vegas time. And believe me, we're out till four in the morning over there, which is like oh, seven yeah. in the morning over here, you know, <laughs> you know and whatnot. <laughs> and supposedly, if you do this, that means like it's the owner's private selection and whatnot of stuff. And you can wow. have access to that Davidoff uh, there. So I'm going to um, uh, do that. That's one of my missions. Um, nice for for there just to. You know, see what we can get, and there was some private selection on stuff from from the owner, and they end up getting it and stuff like that. And and he's going back before then, so he's like, you know, I'll I'll you know let you know, and and hopefully he'll send some stuff. If he does, I, I told him to get three: one for you, one for me, one for Paul. If he gets yeah. two, I'll probably give one to you and Paul, and and just you know, 
bite the bullet and just smoke regular Davidoffs. I'll be fine with that. So is that like a one entry per password or is that, I mean, we can't just use. No, 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 no. Like what it is, is, is you, you have to buy it, but it's like the, the cheapest one's 75, the most expensive one's like 200. Right. But it it really doesn't surprise me because when Paul told the story and he went, he bought $150 Davidoff at the Davidoff uh, uh, lounge there. And I don't know if he smoked it yet and whatnot, but I'm I'm not sure he didn't. He's probably going to wait till he's 80 or something like that. But, you know, (laughs) um, you know, me, I would have cut. cut, (laughs) I would have done a cotton light right then and there. You know what I mean? But but that's just me. Take pictures of it. Tell the story for ages. And and there you go. But um. Yeah, yeah, so supposedly, if you go there and you say that, you can get one stick from this back thing. Guy comes with the key, and then you get it because you're, like, in an exclusive thing. I, I ran into someone who told me about nice. that and whatnot. Nice. So we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm yeah. I'm going for the $150 David off this year. What the hell? I know some, pe- I know some people in Vegas. It'll probably be 156 because, you know, inflation <clears throat> will go up. Well, actually, no, David off will lower their prices because they're, they're not going to IPCPR. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a clear. Let's have a clear. Let's yeah, have a clear yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm. Something tells me that that they're gonna be just fine. But yeah. All so right. uh, anyway, final thoughts on the Elmo Del Campo before we jump into what what we've been smoking. Yeah. No. My 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 take on it uh, exactly is is exactly how it's described. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, you know, handcrafted at Placencia Cigar Factory in Nicaragua. It is definitely a perfect balance uh, complex stick uh with the perfect balance um it's creamy uh the, the creaminess i got from it was more on the almond kind of and 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 the smoky kind of spice was uh teetering uh between the smoke almond spice if you if you get what i mean um mm-hmm. and then uh from there it's just like it finishes off pretty well and on the retro uh the coffee does come through so you 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 definitely get that sense uh, there and then um, and then the nuttiness of it, for sure. So mm-hmm. uh, good stick. I I, I definitely uh, you know would uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it a rating. Is that okay? Yeah, we'll do that. That's the next step, and then we're wrapping that up. Yeah, okay. please do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, w- I would definitely buy a box of these and share them with my friends. And uh, um, like I said, I I normally it's rare that I would buy a box. Well, if I buy a box and just hoard it to myself, I, I just don't do that. I just kind of like to share the experience and get other people's opinions and takes on it and then uh, expect some kind of grandiose gift in return mm-hmm. to the person who's smoking the stick with me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just joking. All my friends are probably, oh, are we supposed to bring him a gift when he smokes with us? <laughs> you, so. I, 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 yes, you should. <laughs> yes, you should. You give a that, you, you give a host a gift. You might get a mention. If mention's not important to you, still give the host a gift. You might get a hug. For me, you get a hug. You everybody know I mean? knows. Every everybody that comes around me, they already know. I, you know, Andrew's Nirvana, and they're like, "What do you mean by that?" You come as you are. There you go. As you are. Yeah, I like it. I like it Sorry. absolutely. Yeah. In regards to the rating, I would absolutely positively give this box worthy. Uh, there. Um, well, one of the things that I like to do when when I travel, because Placencia here in the Northeast is not as um, active as it is when we go down south. I mean, obviously, South Florida, Texas, Atlanta, oh, yeah. Georgia, they're hot spots for for that. But I know like Placencia and like Espinosa are like everywhere in South Florida. And right. I think if I lived down there and I and I was readily available to like if I was going to cigar shops and had those shops readily available to to me because I'm not such a big online guy um, right. with, with 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 cigars, um, I, I would probably they, they would be uh, my my go to sticks for sure. Like you know, so I'd I'd, I'd buy a box um, definitely uh, there. So Stogie Geeks, if you want to check them out, you go to StogieGeeks.com. Check. Click on that Placencia banner, type in your zip code, find a retailer near you, and away you go. You'll be able to um, enjoy uh, a different smoke. One of the things I like about the the Placencia line is, is, is they are different. And one of the things I'm going to talk about when we interview Nessa Placencia uh, next episode of Story Geeks, uh, if everything works out well with the internet and prep calls and all of that stuff and scheduling-wise, or we'll get them in rotation with, with within the month of January. Um, I want to talk about that lingering part of the palette. And Drew, I know you always hold me accountable when you give me your your uh, show stuff 
Like, make sure I ask that question. Like, I want because because I I've smoked the other stuff that we're gonna interview as well. They they've shipped it, and um I, I I'm I'm noticing a really uh interesting theme, regardless of the initial um components or bouquet that I'm um having uh when I'm enjoying the cigar. What I'm noticing is a a, a, a cadence on uh and, and a theme on the, the on my palate so far with stuff and, and i've had other stuff from 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 placenta as well and it just always lingers on my palate you know so there you go i'd yeah. give it a box worthy go for it check them out there you go okay box worthy box worthy and share them with all your friends there you and go they'll go and then they'll go out and get a box and then they'll share it with all their friends and therefore you've uh, started a revolution placenta is all around there you go i like there it you go awesome Drew, what else have you been smoking? Because we've uh, we've had a little bit of a break around the holidays, and yeah, here we so, are. So I dipped into uh, a couple of uh, brands that are weren't on my radar, but Bonaventura D7. I uh, got my hands on a few of those. Uh, some friends of mine sent those to me from New Mexico, actually. Uh, so this one, uh, you know, it's a, a box press bellicosa with a rounded tip. Uh, it does have some uh, body uh, medium to full. Uh, uh, on that one, it is uh, notes of coffee, earth, and uh, it's got a little bit sweeter hints of uh, mocha and caramel. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a nuttiness that precedes the, the the mineral finish to this cigar, but uh, which is the earth balance of that. Uh, but yeah, it was a good cigar. Uh, you know, it's something that um, I would have to get some more just to see it. You know how really well uh, it it pairs with. Uh, you know, with the first one, as far as the consistency, mm-hmm. um, but yeah. So a friend of mine sent me some of those. Um, what about you? What do you got? Well, what would you rate it? Oh, uh, that one there. I definitely do a a fiver on that one. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan uh, cigar for sure. It's a wrapper uh, filler binder uh, Nicaraguan. Uh, the one I had was a fifty uh, Figurado, uh, fifty two by five and a half, five fifty, uh, and. Yeah, I'd give it a fiver for sure cool. at this point. Cool. Yeah, I've never had that one. Um, mm-hmm. I'll have to uh, seek that out. It's box press Bellicoso. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I had a box press this morning. I'm not going to rate it. I've rated it uh, probably about 10, uh, 10, 15 episodes ago. But that Spanish mm-hmm. press La Gloria Cubana. Oh, uh, yeah. I can love that cigar by Jen. So do I. That's a freaking good cigar. And, and Story Geeks, it's not going to break the bank. Uh, no. there too, but you know, with the box press, it, it, it rang a bell. Um, well, I don't know what happened between Christmas and New Year's, but Paul uh rearranged his humidor, right? And like, I towards the end of the year, I had my stuff kind of stacked in boxes, mm-hmm. and I think he he consolidated boxes, and then he's got on the top two shelves like like cedar trays there. Uh-huh. So I'm like, what the hell did he do with? With, with the cigars, right? I come in and, and I'm looking for him, and, and he was organizing the humidor, and and so I was looking for the cigars, and I happened to find in Paul's humidor the Casa Fernandez Miami Reserva Maduro, and I'm like, Ooh. oh my god, he still has these left? And then I looked, <laughs> and I says, eh, it's not in the f off section. I'm gonna go for it, right? And I'm like, I remember smoking the cigar on Story Geeks. And then, so I didn't look up my rating then, and I, and I had it. Uh, and so my notes of this cigar, uh, I'll give you my notes now, and then I'll give you my notes then uh, on this cigar. Um, again, this is the Casa Fernandez Miami Reserva. It's in Paul's Humidor. It's probably from 2012, right? Because there are other Story Geeks notes that are from that. So I'm guessing it's from that batch. Wrap it behind the filler all Nicaraguan. It's mm. had a little bit of age on it, for sure. Uh, it's available in a single size, uh, 6 by 54 It's called the Toro Reserva. And let me tell you something. I had this cigar in the morning, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is such a good cigar. It goes great with my morning coffee. I'm doing my notes. I'm doing my stuff here over at Security Weekly. Everything's going really super cool. It's burning good. Smoked it down to the nub. I got yeah. uh, creamy towards the end. I got a little bit of 
earthiness. The retro hail is phenomenal. The age mm. and balance is super awesome on this cigar. Started looking up this cigar, and there was a review in 2011. It was November for Stogie Geeks. So if you go to stogiegeeks.com and type in Casa Fernandez Miami Reserva in the search or Miami Reserva, uh, it'll come up. Uh, there was a Stoy Geek host, uh, Tim, in November of 2011, and uh, again, strength was full, Nicaraguan binder filler, um, he, he, he gave that there. Uh, the MSRP then was about nine dollars. Same throughout as I did my research, so it it it, it it's not a, a bad stick at all from a pricing standpoint. But these do have a little bit of age on them, and Tim had gave it an angler, mm. which I thought was interesting. So now I'm like, okay, rabbit hole. Let me look up what Joe Hosempa said, right? <laughs> and yeah. so uh, when you look at um, and Story Geeks, if you, you can type in like Casa Fernandez, Miami, Hosemper, or Joe, and all the tags will come up there. So in the search component uh, there. But I had posted in February 5th of 2018, I had uh, posted this stick. Um, at the time in 2018, I was doing a complexity flavor balance scale uh, there, and I rated it from like 1 to 10. It was just yeah. like my, my, my stick that I did uh, there. Complexity, I gave it a 7. Then flavor, I gave it a 7. Balance, I gave it an 8. I totally agree with those numbers. Not because I wrote it, but, you know, because I wrote it, right? right. <laughs> One of those things. And then I actually gave it a box split then. And so if you think hmm. about my rating system, I gave it a box split I'd have to go with the same thing. I'd give it a box split because I don't want to send Stoy Geeks on a wild goose chase. But these are available uh, online, uh, and uh, it's it, it's around that same pr uh, pr pr price point, and you can go and get that. Um, they have a Maduro uh, edition, and it's got a little bit more spice. Uh, but one of my notes I want to say, uh, my, and I quote then, um, Expect the Maduro to have a little bit of spice, but no harshness with notes of pepper fading towards the end. And you know something? Mm. I, I still feel the same way. So, again, this other guy, uh, this other Story Geeks host had it when they first came out. It did debut uh, around that time, so maybe it was new or whatever. He gave it mm -hmm. an angler. That's where it kind of, like, rose to my attention because uh, if I enjoyed something – and another host gave it something. I try to find a happy medium. I would imagine sure. it would just be a component of time. Anyway, the Casa Fernandez Miami Reserva Maduro, you can find them online. I am quite sure that you cannot find them in a brick-and-mortar shop at this particular time. Um, it's the Miami edition, and I'd give it a box split as well. Nice. There you have it. Did my research. <laughs> All right. Ready? I'm ready. All right. McAuliffe Grand Bold Maduro 544M. Mm -hmm. So this, this uh, of course, McAuliffe is my homie here in Texas. You know, they're just a stone's throw uh, west of me. So McAuliffe Cigars. Uh, but this is a short, uh, thin cigar. Uh, it, it burns pretty even. Uh, its, it's, its primary notes are going to be of toasted vanilla, nuts, and a hint of, a hint of red and black pepper. Black pepper... Man, on the retro, I love it. Uh, it's definitely there. Uh, it smokes nice. It's got a. It's a. It's 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 a little. It's a smoky cigar. So the ash is nice and holds well uh, throughout the cigar. So uh, I mean, I I try to flick it a couple times. You know, I do a light flick. I don't sit there and, and beat the crap out of my cigar. I just kind of, you know, give it a flick. That's you know, a good point because if you beat your cigar like hard on an ashtray and whatnot. And you have mm -hmm. a Connecticut wrapper or a lighter wrapper, i.e. a oh, thinner yeah. wrapper, you, yeah. you, you can cause uh, it to crack. Uh, I've, I've seen it happen a lot of times. People are like, oh, this yep. cigar sucks. It's freaking cracking. I'm like, dude, you're freaking banging on it. All you have to do, all you have to do is just take a little bit of the corner and just get that edge out and, 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 and be gentle. Yeah, That's what she said. Anyway, moving on. 
<laughs> filler binder on this is Nika. Uh, the wrapper is Ecuadorian. Uh, ring gauge, like I said, it's 44. Uh, length by five. Uh, definitely a, a full body cigar. And again, as y'all know by now, I'm a full body cigar person. But I, you know, I'll I'll, I'll go to that light side. I just prefer to be on the dark side. But uh, yeah, cigar very nice. Uh, well presented. Uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, construction issues at all. I mean, the only thing I think I've the one I got had a little uh, what do you call that shaggy foot. Um, mm -hmm. and that could have, and that could have been me. Cause I, I, you know, sometimes I, I noticed that sometimes when I'm traveling, I'll have a bunch of cigars and, um, in, in the movement I drive, I drive in Texas, like it's NASCAR season all season. So, <laughs> uh, because that's just what we do here in Texas, you know, trade colors if necessary. But anyhow, uh, yeah. So great, great cigar, uh, smokes very well. Um, as I said, uh, there is, uh, uh, I definitely would recommend at least a box split on this one. Uh, it, it's it's it, the red and the black pepper uh, do come through uh, uh, through the profile pretty nicely. There you go. What was that? Yeah, that is the McAuliffe Grand Bold Grande Bold Maduro. And you Five. gave it a rating box of box split. Yeah, box split. Yeah, box split. There you go. Yeah, yeah, box split with that with someone because I mean, there's so many. Like I mean, you know, and the he and the heavy body cigars are the Full body cigars. I, there's so many out there, and just uh, again, um, you know, if you're that one where you just kind of smoke it throughout the year, I, I I would say a box would last you pretty well. But for me, it's box to box split for sure. Mm -hmm. This is where my radio uh, skills come in. Mm. This part of the broadcast is brought to you by McAuliffe Cigars. Nice. Just to let you know, McAuliffe Cigars are handcrafted in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Their corporate office is and distribution center is located in North Texas. Just a story yes. to throw away from Drew. And right. if you want to become an ambassador, Story Geeks, this is an exclusive to Story Geeks. Listeners, if you want to become an ambassador for McAuliffe Cigars, just to let you know. The original McAuliffe Cigars Legacy Series includes award-winning Reserva Limitada, Privatada, as well as the Leonada Experiencer in Connecticut. All you have to do is go to StogieGeeks.com. They are looking for ambassadors. You go to StogieGeeks.com, click on the McAuliffe logo, sign up to become an ambassador. If you are an ambassador, you get an ambassador coin, Facebook group membership. Uh, f uh, free cigar at McAuliffe events. You'll be able to host your own events, learn more about McAuliffe uh, cigars, exclusive contest for ambassadors, 25% discount on all swag items because we all know that FDA jumps in there, and behind the scenes view of a boutique cigar company. And then in sometime in Q3 of 2020, we're going to be having a round table with the ambassadors and find out what their experience has been. So if you're interested in jumping into the industry without becoming and quitting your day job, which is something I suggest that you do, don't quit your day job. Um, all you have to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, register to become an ambassador, or flash them an email and get more information on that. Look at that. That's how that yeah. worked out. Look at that. That's crazy. Let me add to that real quick. So those of you, uh, if you're if you're uh, fortunate to have a McAuliffe event in your neighbor in your neighborhood, definitely go by there. I mean, the the reps are great. I mean, the people are great. The family, it's very nice people. They're uh, very welcoming. Uh, they they know their cigar. They know their they they know their history, and it's just awesome. So um, here in Texas, I mean, they're always holding some kind of, you know some event at one of the brick and mortars. Uh, whether it's way down south in uh, Corpus Christi or way up here in North Texas, where I'm at, Dallas, uh, they uh, phenomenal people. So just just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm excited that that they decided to uh, jump on with Stogie Geeks. Uh, I've heard um, a lot of stuff on the streets uh, mm -hmm. uh, up about them, and I'm interested to see what kind of year they have for uh 2020 and what they come up with uh you know sure. i've 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 had experience with with smoking some of their line i'm still getting through it yeah uh there um you know and um from what i've had so far 
I, I, I have some, okay, put these aside because I'm going to review these. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting on my reviews. I have my notes, but I'm kind of waiting on my reviews to, to let some, 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 some time go by because I don't want to be like, hey, become an ambassador for McAuliffe. And by the way, I got a banner behind me. They pay me money too and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't want to be like that. It's not, it's not my speed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so here. I kind of want to let it, I kind of want to let it settle. Uh, there, but I think that if you have a smaller shop who's really into some boutique stuff, you, you should probably, yeah. if if you're a retailer listening to this show, and I know there are some who who, who do flash me emails uh, from time to time, definitely um, consider uh, taking some on. And if you need some uh, guidance as to which ones, I can uh, steer you in a direction of what my palette is if your customer base reflects my palette. There you go. Agreed. I'm very disappointed in myself in this next cigar. <laughs> I cannot believe I did not put two and two together at all. I've had experience with this cigar before. I've had it. Smoked it and enjoyed it. Looked at other sizes, smoked them, enjoyed them. And I cannot believe that I did not make the reference at all. And I am talking about the crowned heads, Jericho Hill. Oh, yeah. One Do you know what this cigar is all about? The history of it? Yeah. Like the, how they came up with the name of Jericho Hill? Uh, there's, I, was just, I was just on a Tennessee Waltz kick. Go ahead. Well, tell us. Let me stop I by just... saying this is one of those times I wish I was sitting in the other set because it was a better microphone. But I'm going to yeah. try to do it. Early one morning while wow, making my rounds. I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? I, I didn't even put this together. Like, totally like, oh, yeah, cool. You know, Crown Heads came up with a name, Jericho Hill. They got some other name. Yeah, all right, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I, I, I am a fan of the four kicks. I've said that yeah. here on this show. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? It's a homage, and then I look at the sizes, and I'm like, are you really freaking kidding me, right? right. So anyway, John R. Cash, known as Johnny Cash, is widely considered to be one of the most influential music musicians of the 20th century. His legacy, blah, 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 and it comes from the Folsom Prison song. The sizes are 44S. LBV, OBS, Willie Lee, and Jack Brown. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not put this together? Drew is beyond me. I I am like I, I honestly like I didn't pick up my guitar for like three days. I was like I can't believe it. That and I was busy, but I was like you know I was like I can't believe this. I can't believe I I never even like I was like oh it's for Jericho Hill. That's cool. Like you know what I mean. And yeah. uh, that being said. That is where name comes from, uh, for sure. Let's get to the logistics of the cigar, because behind every cigar is a story worth knowing, right? And so right. the wrapper is a San Andreas wrapper from Mexico, wrap, uh, binder and filler on Nicaraguan. It is made in that My Father factory over in Nicaragua. It's a regular production release. I had a few sizes now that I knew the story. The one I'm talking about is a 6x54 Willie Lee, talking about 9 950 uh, price point. Um, it's a box pr uh, pressed uh, cigar. And let me tell you something. Like, I don't know. I'm such a fan of Crown Heads. And um, I, what, 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 what I like about their bouquet mm -hmm. and uh, offerings. Uh, not that I use a lance, right? Good thing you only did two uh, glossary words. I would have tried to all use them, right? Um, which I'm gonna call it. Well, what I like about them is that there are little nuances in crown heads that, like, you really have to slow down and 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 smoke multiple crown heads to really get where they're going. And yeah. we, you know, and let me tell you something. You have this cigar, and the first thing I say is, oh wow. It's got spice. You got your classic Nicaraguan spice, but you got some earthiness in there. It's box pressed. We know how I feel about box pressed. Doesn't like the way it feels in, in my hand. However, it it doesn't suck. And 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 the smaller you get in size from that, uh, like I said, I I had the um, 
the uh, 6x54 Willie Lee. But if you get actually in some of the smaller sizes, like the LBV or the 44S, these are little yeah. firecrackers, man. They got Nicaraguan punch, classic Nicaraguan flavor. It'll go down to the nub. I always did a V-cut. Uh, I know on the smaller size, I actually, I used the, the, the Calibri uh, Deep V, but I, you know yeah. how you can kind of, you just kind of touch it with the V, if that makes sense? You yeah, know, yeah. You, you don't go all the way to, to the backing. Well, yeah, yeah, you just give it a little cut and, um, well, yeah, uh, thank you, and and uh, away it goes. And actually, I, I'd, I'd, give, I'd give it box worthy for sure. Yeah. That, super cool. And now, like, like you know, I'm not going to let the name skew my my assessment yeah. of the cigar, but I would definitely give it a box worthy for sure. But I was yeah. I can't believe I didn't put that together. Like didn't even I'm, like didn't even dawn on me. So I'm with you with that all the way because yeah, that that cigar is phenomenal. Uh, that, have you had? Uh, I did a uh, Stogie of the Morning the other day. Have you had their Tennessee Waltz? Not yet. Oh, man, I'm, crown, gonna again, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you some. Okay, because again, some. it gets it gets back up to a distribution thing. I, I'm I'm I could always go online and then do it. I I, I kind of torture myself and don't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, is is it good? Oh, uh, I love John. Yeah, John. John. You know, like I said, John Huber. I mean, he makes great great product there. Uh, it's a medium to full body cigar with a top uh, with like a leathery. Uh, from what I what I wrote it was leathery, hickory, uh, black pepper, uh, citrus, uh, and it's just it's just awesome. And, and and that one's called. It's after their home state, so that's what it's named after uh, the Tennessee Waltz. Uh, but this co- uh, this stick. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you some. You're gonna go. You're gonna be happy with this one. No so, kidding. There you go. Yeah. You keep sending those sticks, and I, I keep yeah, saying, s- I, I keep saying, oh yeah, we got a super stick, super, super sticks. But you, what, you you gotta like, I don't know. I I, I you got, gotta. You, you got a box coming. I don't know. It I know be there I do. You made me feel like I know. Or it should be there tomorrow or maybe today later. I know. You made uh, you're like you're like already oh, shipping the sticks. We I will am going. I promise Tuesday. Not, is yeah. is a little bit of of, of uh, uh, Mondays are kind of crazy around here. Thursdays are definitely yeah. crazy around here. Wednesdays are crazy. Tuesday morning, I'm gonna sit down with Paul and we're gonna put together something for you. I'm gonna put nice. it in. I'm gonna put it together in 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 our calendar to 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 do that and then get that shipped over to you. And I got a draw the line, so I'm doing it this <laughs> Tuesday. So if you could do me a favor and just text me Tuesday morning, a picture, a note, box. One word to remind me, and it will get done because I'll I'll make it a tax list and then get that done. All right. All right. <laughs> do you have one more cigar? Yeah, we'll do one more. So one, uh, and you know what? The only reason why I even I'm going to announce the cigar. The only reason why I smoked it or even got it uh, out of the humidor over at uh, one of the brick and motors here in my in my area was because the name. I was like, what is this? And so I got it. My Uzi weighs a ton. Mm. Eight fit. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm like, okay, this sounds pretty interesting. Oh, let's let's take a look at it. So I looked at it, checked out the band, very you know, just a nonchalant cigar. So uh, it, it's it's pretty solid uh, the way it was rolled, uh, and it it just it looked nice. So and it smelled great. The foot smelled good. So you know, so here we go. So the notes on this one was uh, uh, a lot of bold spice, uh, which I love. Um, I love that with my coffees. I love it with uh, some of my drinks, my spice rums and things of that nature. Uh, uh, but very bold, very spicy, uh, a little bit of minerals, uh, and a little bit, uh, I want to say a little a little meaty. So just a little meat somewhere in there. Uh, but it was just throughout the cigar. Uh, it finished, uh, the finish is uh, kind of a hay. So... Um, but it just burned nice and evenly and just it, the draws were nice and I never had that. So, uh, with, I never had that cigar and so it actually was a pretty good pick. So I definitely am going to rate this a fiber. Uh, the, uh, it's a full body cigar, uh, 44 by four inch. So it's a small cigar, uh, not quite a dog walker, but just a little bit larger than, than a dog walker. Uh, it's, uh, filler, Brazil, Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua, a uh, binder, Ecuador and wrapper in Mexico. So, uh, again, filler is Brazil, Nicaragua binder, 
Ecuador and rapper Mexico. Mm-hmm. So let me get my little pronunciation there right. Uh, let me ask you a other... question. Let me ask yeah. you a question. Since you're the band man, did the band yeah. have the initials of my Uzi weighs a ton, or did it actually spell it? No, it had the initials. Gotcha. So it had the initials, but in a very small uh, font, they had that Uzi weighs a ton. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it had some kind of photo, which I'm still trying to distinguish, which is probably the bait fish chum or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, great. Uh, it was a great kind of endeavor. I just, I, I'm like that sometimes. I'll walk in and I'll see something with a with a name that just like jumps out for a second, mm-hmm. and then and then I'll it goes back, but then I'll go you know rifling through the humidor looking for stuff, and then I'll turn back around and there it jumps back out. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I've noticed about those sticks is the the they're tightly packed regardless of size. Yes, they're. You know what I mean, solid. like you, you know how like you can almost like you know when you're like kind of not squishing, but you're. I'm a yeah. twirler, right? So I'm a twirler, right? Yeah. So you know I'm, a, which is probably why I don't like box presses, right? Like I said, on previous previous shows, I just don't like the way that they feel in my hand, but I do smoke them. Um, yeah. If I enjoy the flavor, and and like I'm a twirler, and what I notice is that it they're, they're just super packed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But as I said, it's very solid. I mean, when you pick it up. First thing you do when you feel it, you're like, oh, let me squeeze a little bit more. And it's like, wow, it's pretty solid. Right. And, and some people, I, I, I've talked to people who, who don't understand that. They think, oh, it's going to be a very, it's going to be work to smoke it. I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, it's the way you cut it. It's the way you, pre- you know, you, you burn the foot and just kind of get it going. But I go, just because it's packed tight, it doesn't mean it's going to be a, a, a work of, you know, of tiring your jaws or your cheeks or whatever if it's if it's drawing. made correctly for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, it, and, it, and, if all, and if all fails get your damn poker out and poke it a few times <laughs> or throw it out and get another one <laughs> yeah or just do, do that number you know yeah man flick it just flick it awesome awesome <laughs> and your rating on that uh i'm gonna say that's a that's a fiber i mm-hmm. mean you try that yeah I, I would try that if i if i had i known I was gonna have this experience, uh, and it's not a it's not a very uh, inexpensive uh, expensive stick either. It's like right. uh, I think I picked it up for like four bucks. Sure. So, so that was pretty interesting. I was like, oh, okay, it's four bucks thick. Yeah, I noticed so, the sizes of them. They run a little scotch smaller. So if you have a time crunch with yeah. with with whatever your schedule allows you to do that day, it's it's a good it's a good stick. Twenty seven minutes is what it took me to take that baby down. Do you time? No, not always, but okay. I just want to make sure. I'm I was just... watching my episodes of The Office, and it took 27 minutes. I got through one episode. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Awesome. The final stick I want to talk about is the Arturo Fluente Destino El Siglo. Mm. It's awesome. It's so good. Sounds like a sports car. Yeah, it, it, it's it's so good. I mean, mm. if you want to treat yourself... The, there are some out there that are at a, a super high component. So if you go to storygeeks.com forward slash 317, which has the sticks listed and you throw them into Google and you go in through whatever you find, you're like, whoa, whoa. There, there are some other ones in there. They're, they're, they're around 20 bucks uh, or so, or some of them, some of the uh, exclusive sticks that were available um, for that particular year. Well, that particular size can get up to 75 so just kind of bear a little bit of caution uh sure. from there uh it, it is part of the uh auto uh the opus x line right yeah. so you're kind of like you know you can you can go either way on price there for sure depending on the tobacco uh there but speaking of which um your wrapper is dominican habano and your binder and filler are not disclosed uh <laughs> Uh, welcome to the world of Alto Fluente, Opus X. Yep. Uh, right. There you go. The size is a 6 in 1 eighth by uh, 47. Uh, great size. I mean, it, it, it's it's a barely medium in regards to, to strength. Uh, complexity mm-hmm. is, not, is not really on the higher side. But the balance and flavor, um, light flavor maybe, or... Natural tobacco flavor that's not in your face, but but really balanced and 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 super tasty, um, light on your palate but tasty. Uh, having you want more in the taste, not more because it's terrible, but like wow, like this is a really tasty smoke, but it's pretty mild on my palate. 
uh, there. I mean, it's a good celebratory stick. It's a good stick for you to have. Um, good makes a, gr a great gift if you can find them. Uh, for sure, not that they're rare to find or that rare to find. You can certainly find them online with some ease in uh, retail stores. I'm sure the ones that are hyped up on uh, some of the Alto Fluente lines should have them in as they uh, be become readily available uh, throughout their cycle. Uh, however, there's so much other stuff that's come out post that. I would imagine on the retail side, y you might not find it um, readily available as you think. But in regards to, to the stick, I definitely give it a box split um, just yeah. because, you know, they're rare. You should find them. They're, 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 they're good uh, and they're balanced. And, of course, um, Paul had, had given it to me. Um, and it's, it obviously has, uh, some age on it for sure. Um, yeah. there, which, which, which makes a big difference. But when I spoke to Paul yesterday, uh, afternoon about it, um, he, he was like, yeah, it, but the age didn't really make it better or worse. It just, it just, it's just, it's just a good stick. It's just yeah. super tasty. And sometimes he gets on kicks where, you know, where, and, and I do too, where, you know, I don't want that pepper Nicaraguan in your face I want something a little bit subtle and and it'd yeah. be a good stick for sure well it says it's rare selection from the Fuente family and it will only be around for a short time and you will have to wait another hundred years what to get a chance to try the next one really that's what it says that's what I'm reading I'm like what uh, what well you can go online and you can get them because I I again when I, when yeah. I, when but my final step for giving a rating yeah. is I don't like available. this I don't like yeah I don't like to send story Geeks listeners on a wild goose chase like yeah. I don't I don't because I've had the opportunity to have some quote unquote unicorn sticks here just from people yeah. shipping stuff or people stop by the studio or people stop by next door and hey you know this is coming out like uh, what's the one off the top of my head that 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 um the latest one not latest Scott uh, but the latest one the war zone the war zone was uh -huh. that Espinosa? Is that Espinosa? Yeah, yeah, Espinosa. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Espinosa war zone. Like I was like, oh wow, like this is this is really good, and I think it's gonna go somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with the uh, Alec Bradley Project Forty, right? When Project when 40. we when we introduced um, what was his name Jonathan, right? Yep. Um, well, John, well, John, right? Yeah. And and Lipson last name, right? Yeah. So yeah. When, when 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 we had an interview with him. And I was like, yeah, man, like, this is a really good, like, this is all pre cigar aficionado yeah. thing. I'm like, this is really super cool. It's like, yeah, but we came out with this magic toast. I'm like, ah, what about magic toast? Let's talk about this Project 40. This is where it's at. Like, you know what I mean? This is where, this is totally where it's at. And, and, you know, oh, yeah. and it's funny because uh, I was friends with him on LinkedIn, ironically, before I was friends with him on Facebook. And yeah. I even put, like, and I really do, like, cigar stuff on LinkedIn just because, yeah. just, just, most of the push in news is through either Facebook or Twitter. And I even yeah. put like, dude, I called it like on, on his LinkedIn. Like I sent the link. I was like, I totally called this one over here. Yeah. And he's like, you know, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want to talk to me about your magic toast. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, there too. Uh, yeah, for sure. But I'll tell you yeah. what I've been getting into. Speaking of that brand is that blind faith by the Alec and Bradley, the kids. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. Blind faith, yeah. yes. Do, do you have that? Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you I, think about I, that? Nine stick. I've only smoked two of the nine I have. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So uh, it's been a while. But uh, when it first came out, Nomi gave me one. And then I got a, a stack of them uh, at the Cigars and uh, – what was that? Cigars and Spirits show. And then I've only had a couple. But, yeah, uh, first take on that. It's a very, it's a very uh, 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 solid smoke. Uh, I got to look at my notes. I, like I said, I haven't smoked that in, mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a minute, but uh, it's a good cigar. Uh, what were your takes? I'm sorry. What, what do you want to share? Yeah, no, I Stop, just, uh, the, you know, yeah. Alec and Bradley are trying yeah. to like what, 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 oh, I, what, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. What, what I think is, 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 yeah. is fascinating is that if you're a consumer and you see Alec Bradley and we've, heard them for years now off the top of my yeah. head maybe eight ten years so it could be 15 right time flies right 
But well, these but, are the boys, right? Yeah, these yeah. And so, but if it says Alec Bradley, it's Alan, the original owner, the father, yep. right? Uh, but if it's uh -huh. Alec Ampersand, Alec and Bradley, it's yes. kids, Alec and yes. Bradley, right? And yes. they're starting. Well, first of all, that stick is starting to go into that TPE rotation, and the shows coming up, and all of that stuff there. But but the, but they're starting to get some buzz. And yeah. what I th like about that stick is I, I try to put aside, like, the media buzz of uh -huh. what they're doing and where they're going because that, that's marketing, right? But I became – when I first was introduced to that stick, I remember exactly where I was. It was when I took a trip down in Florida. So it was in September, and we did the remote, right? And we did the remote, and I was at the Havana Republic Cigars over on Las Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale which is yeah. where I go into the show every year that I go there. And um, I remember being captivated by the box presentation. Yes. Because the box presentation has a blind faith. It's got the television. And it's got, like, the static. And then I was like, what's this stick all about? And then he's like, he's like, ah, Alec Bradley put it out. just came out, blah, blah, blah. came out after, you know, it was around IPCPR. Uh, and and I'm like, how's this selling? He's like, it's going pretty good. You know what I mean? It's got a good price point to it. It's going, but I had a couple, bought them, didn't have them because, in my mind, <clears throat> and this is when Jonathan corrected us on the interview between the Alec Bradley, Alec and Bradley. In my mind, I bought some and just kept them, and I was into. I'm in South Florida, right? So I'm um, Placencia, Espinosa, stuff I yeah. can't get here in the Northeast. You know, and there's only so much time, and then I just had them. And then when I kind of circled back and around to them, um, I, I got back into them. I, I actually bought a box. I bought a box of them. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of what they're going to come up with, and I think that that TPE show will be good for them, and yeah. I think they're going to carve on their own path, and i um, super excited that we can. We're, we're, they are going to be on the show uh, here in 2020 and, and tell us their story and and you know, uh, I, and it's interesting when we have a younger. So we have a second generation, right? I know we have J.C. Newman, and you have fourth generation and whatnot. But it's interesting, and I think that if the Alec and Bradley brand from them can really um, be different palette-wise than what Alec Bradley has historically come out with, I think that we're gonna see some super cool stuff for them um to watch they, they they were part of my 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 top companies to watch but we had limited it here for stogie geeks um right purposes but that you know definitely uh excited about what they're coming out with and i've heard rumor a uh, good rumor that they're coming out with some more stuff here in 2022 so um yes not 2022 did I say 2020. 2020. 2020. That's that's what 2020. Yeah. So just let me make a correction because I just got a I just got I just got an, a blast right now from one of my buddies. He's like, dude, you we have not smoked a blind faith yet. What you're thinking about is the gatekeeper. So that's the one I was thinking about. Uh, the gatekeeper. Um, oh, yeah. I have not. So I have not had the blind faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm now and I'm now looking at my cigar list, and he's like, "Dude, we we <laughs> we haven't gone there yet." You haven't uh, had blind faith? Okay, cool. Tuesday, no. text me blind faith, and I will okay. remember your box, and I will put some in there, and then do okay. that because they're they're here in the northeast. The yeah. the the northeast rep uh, for Alec Bradley, who's also doing the his stuff as well, the Alec and Bradley stuff. Uh, yeah, I, they're they're readily available here. They're kind of hitting hard just here now, so. And yeah. they, were, they were in South Florida hitting hard in September after the show. So it yeah. would make sense that, that they would be pretty, hit, hit pretty hard here for sure. Because yeah. Alec yeah. Bradley does okay here. It does, it's, 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 on, it's on a lot of shelves. I don't know if it's down there. Um, it is, it is in, in a limited selection. But like Blind Faith, I've actually never seen this, uh, uh, the logo that you're talking about, the television. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen that one before around here. I've seen it around the internet, but I haven't seen it here. Blind uh, gatekeeper. I was thinking of blind faith because of the uh, the uh, the band. Uh, the um, God, I think of that guy's name that's on there, but his eyes are closed, and I was just thinking uh, that's what I was thinking about. So what are you thinking about the uh, the gatekeeper? Caldwell? The, the, the no, Caldwell no, 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 no. With the what are you talking about? 
I'm talking about the 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 picture on the ban uh, on the gatekeeper. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I was thinking blind faith. But then my buddy goes, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. Uh, Cor- gatekeeper, cor- correct yourself. <laughs> gatekeeper, magic toast, and yes. Project Forty came out all around the same time, right? Yes. Here comes my my email, right? Oh no, no, no. it came out all the same time. It got exposed to me at the same time. Okay, right? Yeah. And, and so um, there and and. The one that stuck out from Gatekeeper, where are we going? Gatekeeper, Magic yes. Toast, Project 40. The one that stuck out for me was Project 40, right? And Project then 40, yes. when I re-went back to Project 40, I'm like, they're really onto something here. Like it's, it's a, And then it just catalyst with the Cigar Aficionado ratings and all of that stuff, and now they're, they're going there. That's a, that's a, we're, our thoughts are organized. It just doesn't seem that way. Yeah, and I just uh, I, you know the, the project forty that I'm enjoying and I have been enjoying is the forty uh, forty six fifty two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you're on if you've got I think you've had those or the one i at maybe? this point I've 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 had all their offerings from from, okay. from there yeah for yeah. for the project forty yeah but that's what I like that robusto that fifty two uh, uh, ring uh, ring gauge yep I, def- I I definitely love that cigar just love the way that all the notes and flavors come through that. Uh, and just lingers in my new mommy. <laughs> I, I would buy a box of the Project 40s. The only super yeah. cool thing is that is they keep getting handed to me. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, I'll get the blind faith. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. So um, there you go. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Right. Sounds good. Well, I just want to remember that we can keep the conversation going all week long. Story Geeks. You can go to StogieGeeks.com. And you can email Drew at Drew at StogieGeeks.com or me, Joe H, at StogieGeeks.com. Email all complaints to Drew at StogieGeeks.com. You can listen to the podcast any time. Behind every cigar, I want to remind you that there's a story worth knowing. Get out there, shop local, meet some new friends, visit your local brick and mortar. And I want to wish you guys a happy new year. 2020. Happy New Year. Yes, absolutely. 2020 is going to be an awesome year here at Stogie Geeks and looking forward to uh, fascinating interviews and finding out what this industry is going to unfold its story as nice. time continues and people go on. I just want to give nice. a special thanks to J.C. Newman, Havana Cigar Club, Placencia Cigars, and McAuliffe Cigars for participating on the show. Stogie Geeks. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.